Africa is so rich with heritage and yeah. culture. You yeah. can tell by the way people dress, True. the language that people speak. Languages. Just that people speak. Imagine South Africa alone has 11 official languages. Yeah. Hey, That's amazing. the dance moves, mm. the clothes they wear. Hey. <laughs> One of the people that we're chatting with this afternoon celebrating Heritage Day with us is none other than Edna Kangolo. You know her from our City News. She's an anchor there. She also produces. She's also a reporter. There's nothing she cannot do. And she apparently can she can cook too. She can, she can cook, cook, well. cook and well. bake and stuff. Cook as well. Welcome to XM. Thank you for bracing us with your Thank presence. You. Thank you for having me. Okay. Hey. Oh, absolute pleasure. Just the dish name before we go again. Okay, the dish is called feijoada. Feijoada. Yes, feijoada. It's a Portuguese name. Okay. Yes. Feijão is beans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Feijoada because it's a mix of beans with okay. different kinds of meat in Ooh. it. Yes. Oh, you're speaking to my style. <laughs> I can tell that that's chicken. Chicken, yes. What with else? beef. And, okay, so usually we're supposed to use chorizo. What is chorizo? It's a sausage, but it's like a Portuguese sausage. Okay. okay. Chorizo. But because I didn't have chorizo, yeah. so I used to be honest. So, you know, <laughs> we're in South Africa. Yes. So, it's okay. You I have to, happen, yeah. yes, I have to change yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Vienna, chicken, beef. What else? Uh, cabbage, uh -huh. carrots, tomato, and onion. You and rice. You are so rich in Angola. <laughs> like <laughs> everything in like, one plate. Honestly, my mom was shouting me on club, not in a peg in the So what's the history behind um, this dish? So feijoada actually is more like a Portuguese mm. because Angola was colonized by the Portuguese. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, it's just a mixture of different kinds of yeah. meat. But we mix it with rice, and then you have the vegetables. But it can also be cooked with white beans, oh not right. only with, with brown beans. We cook mm. it also with, with um, white beans. But because I didn't really grow up in Angola, I literally... I could <laughs> tell, because she has a colored accent. Because I'm thinking to myself, like, what sort of Angolan is this? On an air? What kind of Angola is this? Like no, a you're not being flow. tricked. You're not being tricked. But before we continue, I first have to teach you guys how to... Greet okay. with Portuguese. All right. Yeah. So we say hola. 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 That's okay. easy. That's hola. Easy. You hola. hear Brazilians a lot. They hola. say that. Hola. 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 And, hola. and then bye would be ciao. 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 Hey. Hola. 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 Ciao. 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 And a lot of the times you guys hear obrigado. 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 Thank you. Which is obrigado. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. Um, how do you say Riza, you're so annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Rizad is muito irritante. Ah, es muy irritante. Es muy irritante. So we we announced that in South Africa, we announced as if it's something new. <laughs> um, we did say that South Africa has 11 official languages. Mm -hmm. How many languages are in Angola? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really research that part, mm. but I believe let's say about. Eleven nine languages. Oh, I'm okay. not too sure. Oh, that's yes. a but lot. I know we've got eighteen provinces. Right. Um, wow. And all those eighteen, not all of them speak different languages. Okay. So we don't all speak. Uh, we speak different languages, but not all eighteen different yes. languages. Right, okay. um, the big groups that we have is the Umbundu mm -hmm. and the Bakongo. Yeah. Those are like the ethnical groups that yeah. we have in my country. Mm -hmm. right. um, but I come from two different cultures because okay. my dad is Chokwe. Mm -hmm. And my mother is Umbundu. Okay. I speak none of the mother tongues, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. It's Zero sad. It's no, okay. it's really sad. It's oh. very sad. I speak none of the mother tongues. I only speak English and the colonized language, which is Portuguese. Wow. Mbundu um, <laughs> <laughs> rhymes <laughs> with some other word <laughs> in Isi Kosa. Kosa. Exactly. Wow. We are yes. not going to say <laughs> that. I want to be like, guys, she's giving us a lot of information here. But if it's incorrect, someone's watching there from Angola. You must go on our social media page and tell us that she's lying. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> she must be lying. I want to know, know in terms of the culture. Is culture rich back in Angola? Very, very rich. Um, especially with the food. Mm -hmm. I would say with the food. We... We definitely enjoy more of our African food than the actual Portuguese food. Yes. Um, I know with the food we have a lot of, we eat a lot of fish. Okay. Mm. Vegetables is, and salad is like our main thing. And okay. pop. Yeah. <laughs> and you also love wearing beautiful clothes. Yes. Yeah. So you brought something along. Yes. We call this what? This, we would call it panu. Amazing. Panu. Panu. 
um, you wear it to wear around and your waist. Wife. This one is a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's supposed to be a little bit shorter. Sure. But right. it's just to show you guys how we tie it around our waist. Okay. okay. Like Does men wear panu? Are you gonna as well? have to no. <laughs> oh, I was gonna be rocking some I panu. I would rather try it on myself because okay. I'm allowed to tie it around myself. <laughs> okay. 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 I'll hold your mic. Yeah. Okay. This one's a little bit long. But when we go home, mm -hmm. because we can't always wear a uh, short thing in front of our parents, okay. right? we hold it like this. A little closer with the mic. Okay, close. Okay. Yeah. And then put it here. And then there you go. And then there you are. It's covered. Because wow. you're going where? Um, where you're in you the house. Okay. You're in the house, and you know your father's there, your uncles is there. Oh, you don't this want is to like be respectful. Okay. Respectful. Got to respectful. And as soon as they leave the mini skirt, you come out. You come alive. As soon as they leave, yeah. You know. You can then remove. So okay, he said, leg. "Is this dish halal?" Here you go. Um, yes, it is. Okay, then it you is. can taste it. Right? Definitely. It is. So I'll go first. But a lot of the times, we also use pork. Okay. But this one is, there's, is, no, pork there's no pork in it. You, okay. you are fine. Yes. Okay, so I'll go first. And be honest, don't lie. Okay, I'm, honest. I'm a very honest person. It's I called? Feijoada. 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 Yes. Feijoada. Feijoada. Mmm! <laughs> what? <laughs> Feijoada. It's, a, it's a delicious. I have to say it's delicious. Muntubo. Ah, muntubo. It's bon, muntubo. Very much. Muntubo. Muntubo. <laughs> Thank Delicioso. you, my lover. Delicioso. Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> sure, I made it with love. I made oh, it with love. Geez. It's really good. <laughs> because of that, it's I really am good. not coming. No, Lama, you cannot outside. No, Lama has to taste. No. Lama has to taste. I know what needs to happen. The closer needs to take over. 